we are here at the unit uh, where I'll be hunting antelope. Uh, we went off on this road first and didn't say it was for public access, but we went anyway and didn't look like anybody had been there for a while. So um, this area is checkerboard, a lot of private, uh, never been here before. So what we have on our phone scope is an antelope buck, not a shooter. Um, especially not on the first day maybe like the last weekend I'll put a stock on it. I like the terrain here because there's more vegetation than the area I hunted two years ago so I can definitely use the terrain to my advantage like if I was to put up, put up a stock on this buck there's a yucca plant halfway between us and the and the antelope so I could definitely use the terrain a little more sketchier I feel like we're in rattlesnake country so that's the scary part so You'll see here on, on the video of the phone scope I'm catching up this buck right here. So, so far so good. I know we've been on the road for three and a half hours, I think. Levi's been asleep for at least an hour. Um, so we're trying out the new equipment now, the camera. So, see how this comes out. Okay, so to my left, you see a buck right off the road, which is awesome. It is standing. 94 yards, 94.6 yards. So actually, if we had our tag, it was hunting season already. We could take a shot at him. But he's already on high alert. Small target though, very small target. Got does in the back. Yeah, we see some back. little fawns right there. Baby goats. Mm. It's a nice buck. I'll be happy with him, but I want one that's like black on the head. That one's a young buck. It's a lot of. Them. Oh no, they're all just does. Are they? Oh no, oh, that's, that's a big a, one. Man, that's a shooter for sure. That's a big one. I wish we could zoom in further. He's like trying to figure out where to go. Yeah. Damn, he's a shooter for sure. That last one. The shooter. There he goes. Did they get under or no? No. Just trying to figure out. All by the what the other ones are further. There it goes, oh no. All the way down there now. Ooh. I thought that one stop. Yeah, they're up there. there. Let's see if I can park on top and then put my phone scope on it. Alright. There's the big boy. I still don't believe I was recording on the camera, but Definitely need a bigger, better zoom lens. Pretty tall. Definitely want to take a buck. Well, yeah, a buck like that for sure.
here he is. He's coming in a little bit, a couple of steps. Just wondering what's going on. It's a little shorter on the on the on his left. Better than last year, though. Two years ago. Little guy and a medium guy. We're seeing them though. I think it's pretty cool. Not a bunch of antelope, but at least we're finding them. Just that one herd with the bunch. Mm -hmm. Big buck. Yeah. Now to think about how would I make my approach. Probably the same thing we did last time where the guys drive off and distracted I think the best thing though this time of the day is to have them bed up and then just make your approach I feel like that was what helped me out the last time on the antelope hunt and this time there's more vegetation so I know it's gonna make it a little bit more easier it won't be super easy because it's hot wide open but there's definitely some brush this time yucca and some brush so I'm excited Okay, so we've been driving for a good hour and a half from the time we last saw those two speed goats <clears throat> and we pretty much eliminated the southern part of the unit uh, it's pretty dry a lot of um, sagebrush it would be an awesome country to find speed goats in but fortunately we haven't seen anything so I think the game plan will be to hunt the northern part of the unit so I think you know that was a successful trip as it is for us to eliminate the southern end of the unit so I know Levi is getting hungry as usual I am too so I'm gonna wrap this video up and if we see something else 